Hey guys, what's up? It's Bailey back with another daily video. Well, not really daily because I've missed eight months, but that's okay. Today I just wanted to get back into the swing of YouTube in a more natural way. I feel like for so long I've been trying to do things that are correct and I just kind of want to be raw and natural um, for the camera, hence why we look crusty dusty today. But I just wanted to do a zero to a hundred makeup tutorial, especially with the mask situation that's going on right now. I did buy some cute masks, but I've been having a hard time with the transfer of them. Today I just wanted to show you basically how I do my makeup now for COVID. And yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right on into the video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is moisturize my crusty lips because they need it also. Oh my god. Just ate that a little bit. This lip mask is by um, Ser Seraphine Botanicals. Can you see that? Hopefully it focused. Um, it's the fruit butter lip mask. And honestly, if you're a chapstick girl and you live for a good chapstick, this one's good. Okay, so I did go ahead and brush my teeth this morning. You know, we were not so crusty dusty today. Um, I went ahead and brushed my teeth, washed my face, put my moisturizer on. But um, I really wanted to show you guys exactly how I get ready, like a real get ready with me, um, how I kind of start my morning. So we're gonna put in our contacts. I have the eyes of an 100 year old woman. Let's not be offensive here. Oh my gosh, that's one. And that's two, thank the Lord. Okay, so um, our contacts are in now, which is a good first step. So I'm gonna take my little fluffy scrunchie and I'm just gonna put my hair up. I'm gonna start off with brows. I always start off with brows, so. Pull out my little handy dandy brow packet. If you guys want a brow tutorial, go look on my channel. I kind of do them still the same way that I did um, in that video. It's a very in-depth, fluffy kind of brow tutorial that I do that I still really love today. Okay, you guys, brows are on. And I definitely say that this probably is the most important step in your makeup nowadays because with a mask on, the eyebrows are the first thing someone notices. I think they look very good. Again, follow my brow tutorial if you guys need any help with the brow situation. Um, and next, I'm just gonna kind of move on to um, a primer I've been loving. This primer is actually, it was a gift from Ulta for me. It was um, the Too Faced Do You Fresh Glow. I don't know if you guys can get this primer anymore. It is by the, like the Tutti Frutti line um, from Too Faced. It was like the line that they had before. They kind of like sold it all out. Um, and I'm just gonna take this brush, this 2FF straight brush from Fahara. I always say Fahara, but it's probably a Farah. Fahara just sounds fancy area. I'm just gonna take a pump of that on this um, straight brush and it looks awful when you put it on your brush, but um, I just hit the high points of the face with it um, to give me kind of like a natural glow. <laughs> um, and I'm just blending that um, across this region. I've also kind of noticed, and take this lightly because this is not for all skin types, but if I take my concealer around this region, my concealer, my um, primer that's illuminating around this region um, of my like concealer it kind of makes it a little bit more hydrated however sorry there's a mirror behind you guys if you're wondering why I'm like struggling around you I like how it's bronzy it's like a caramel color to the skin and already added a little bit of a peach pigmentation which is gonna fight I believe any purple undertones correct me if I'm wrong in the comments um, don't have my little makeup sheet with me but it definitely is gonna correct a little bit and illuminate, which I love. The next step, we're gonna prime our eyelids. And um, I'm gonna use the P. Louise base, um, base number two. I'm just gonna take a small little brush like this. This is the Jaclyn Hill JH42 brush. And I'm gonna put a little pump of this P. Louise. You really don't need a lot of this stuff at all. And I'm just going to paint my eyelids. And if you're wondering like, why do you do this? Why do you paint your eyelids with this? Um, when we cover the veins on our eyelids, cause everybody has thin eyelids. It just, you can see your veins. And we are priming our eyelids for the rest of the day. It looks a little bit more lifted. Like this side, like you can really tell rather than this side looks a little flat. I used to use Mac soft ochre paint pot like everyone else and their mothers did in like 2012 bethany moda land the p louise one for me honestly really gives that brightening effect and doesn't look too white in person we are all done with our base for our eyes and i always just go in with any type type of 
fluffy setting brush that you guys have also. If you guys can hear me, I'm squeaking. It's my chair, you know, not my butt. So yeah, I just take the Wonder Powder from um, Glossier or Glossier, however you say it. And I just set that whole area with powder just so, to make sure it doesn't crease or slip on me for the rest of the day. And then we'll come back to the eyes after we do foundation. So I have this cute little star brush from It Cosmetics. I got it when I used to work at Ulta. It has this cute little see-through clear gel like acrylic star handle and it's like a star itself. Um, it doesn't really look like a star anymore because I've probably beat the crap out of it. But it is an awesome blending brush. So is the Morphe ones, but this has just been my go-to brush lately. Guys, let me tell you something. This, this foundation will change your life for masks. It is the Kat Von D True Portrait Liquid to Powder Foundation. And I think her name is, I, I, I know who she is. I'm saying, I don't know how to pronounce her name. I think it's Janae Aieko or Jenny Aieko. A lot of people pronounce it differently. I'm pretty sure it's Janae. But she came out with this foundation with Kat Von D. And you know, I love her. So I just saw it, her beautiful face sitting on the thing at Sephora and I was like, you have to shake it. It has like that little spray paint ball in it thing. This foundation is beautiful on the skin. I am in the shade medium zero to seven. And I just do a couple little drops of that on the, the brush. It honestly doesn't look like anything. And what I've been doing lately, this will help you with the masks, the whole mask situation. You start around the rim of the face. And I've noticed that this technique has really helped my makeup stay on and coat my face evenly without looking super cakey, which can be an issue when you're working with like a liquid, super liquidy foundation. So just taking it from the chin, this one needs more around the under eye area. I usually don't go under the eyes, but this foundation is so creamy that it kind of, works. I mean, look at that. It just looks so natural. It looks like her skin. You know, you know how her skin always looks like when she's singing on stage, it always looks so dewy. All right. And then a little on the forehead. I know this is lighter than my forehead, but I definitely warm up my forehead with some uh, warmer bronzer. So good. I would really suggest you guys go and get it because the aftermath of it, like the way it sits like a powder, so many people are like, is that your skin? I'm like, no girl, my skin is not as clear. I wish it was, but um, each not. So that's pretty much it for the foundation. So next up is concealer. And concealer that I've actually been gravitating back towards is the Tarte one. Um, but for my whole trip, I ran out of it. So I started using, again, the uh, Too Faced Cosmetics Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Almond. But I just take a couple dots of that and I take it and I blend it outwards um, up into the eye. I don't really need too much concealer. Um, so this is just something that I have been loving. Also, yes, I feel like every time I film, I always have ratchet nails. I don't know what happens to them. I do dishes, I work out, so. You know, the girl loses some nails every once in a while. Okay, so now that our concealer is beautifully blended out, um, you know, just starting from the nose area and blending it and working it towards the outer area, um, I find more coverage this way, less creasing throughout the day, which is awesome because people see your eyes now a lot, the whole mask situation. So to not have creasy under eyes is very important. The next thing that I've been doing differently is I've been doing creams before powders. So before I even powder my face, before I move on and set anything, I'm going to start using um, cream products like bronzer, blushes, um, highlighters, stuff like that. So the next um, thing that I've actually been liking, I have an Ipsy Glam Bag, which quite honestly is the best thing ever. They gave me this lit this cheek stick crayon in the color Brazilian bronze. It's by Trace. I don't even know how to pronounce that guys. Trace Stick. Trace Stick. Wait, what? The sticker says brush inside. <gasps> I didn't even know this was a thing. I didn't know there was a brush. 
Oh my gosh. As I'm trying to peel off the sticker, I'm thinking it's so annoying. It's a brush inside, guys. Okay, but this is what the stick looks like. Gorgeous. I've just been using the Fenty Beauty brush for this. And what I'll do is I'll paint the brush, literally like paint it with my, my contour stick so it looks like that. And I just kind of start going up into the hairline like this and away from my face. I don't know how well that's reading on camera, but it is not that dark at all, actually. I really know why they call it Brazilian tan now because it looks just natural, it looks beautiful. Okay, so this is where things get interesting. I have been doing something different. I think her name is Jamie Genevieve um, on YouTube and she started doing her makeup higher up on her face instead of where I would normally do it, like low, makes your face look a little bit more wider, but up makes your face look like, like snatched like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my bronzer that I put on here, just like that, a little bit higher, almost on top of my cheekbone, and I'm almost like dun dun dun, dun dun dun, and I keep going upwards. Don't work down, you don't wanna droop your face down but just kind of press up and already from the front, you can tell that this side is a little higher than this side, just a little bit more wider. I'll post a contour video that's a little bit more in depth for you guys. Also for the nose, I just kind of start going inwards like this. I th I'm pretty sure I saw Jaclyn Hill do this because she said she saw it from another girl. And then of course, under the chin, we don't really like a double chin up in this piece, girls, no do we? Okay, so now after all that's on, I'm just gonna actually go in with this brush. It's from um, Farah, Farah, however you say it. It's the Stippling 40 FM brush. And I take Glossier's Cloud Paint. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Um, this one's so dirty because I use it so much. It's in the shade Beam. And I put a little bit on the top of the brush, not that much. Oh, that was way too much. Ow. This stuff goes a long way, guys. So this would paint my whole face pink, let me just tell you. I've been doing this anyways. I'll take my finger and rub it through the top of this brush. So just like that. And I have been putting this on my cheeks and I know you're probably looking at it and you're like, what? That's too much blush. No, actually this stuff disappears. Um, not like disappears, but it blushes you up as much as it needed, I guess you could say. Um, and then I definitely hit the nose with that, go on the forehead and the chin, just to warm the face up. And that's what I do for that part. Now don't worry, I know it probably looks a little intense, but it's not as intense as you guys think. And usually if it is, I'll just go in with, this is just a regular clean brush. I'll just go back over it and kind of set it into the face. The next cream product that I go in is the Glossier or Glossier Play Highlight Concentrate. Um, it is in the shade Platinum Rose and it's this little beautiful bottle guy right here. I just take it and I hit all the high points of my face in dots like that. This makes it very luminized and I know I'm putting makeup on where no one's probably gonna see it because of my mask, but I feel like it's still important to hit these areas. Cause you know, even when we have our masks on, sometimes we sit down and we eat and we have to take our masks off. And I've seen a lot of people do mask tutorials and like once you take your mask off, it looks awful. So we don't wanna look like that. We just don't want any transfer and we wanna look natural, glowy, and luminous. Okay, so that's it for all the cream products. And now we're gonna move into the powder products. The next thing that I'm gonna use that I have been obsessed with is the Gigi Gorgeous. Um, duo bronzer in turnt and extra. It's the stick sculpt. Um, this bronzer, you guys, like freaking gorgeous. I mix them together, which is why probably the sides are so rubbed in like that. But I just take my Jaclyn Hill brush, the JH02, and I swirl it around in here and I just warm up the sides. I'm not really pushing my brush on my face too hard. If you guys could see, I'm kind of just dusting just dusting the brush a little bit okay I'm sorry I don't know how long that wasn't recording for um, I don't know if you guys got the gist of everything that we just did but we just um, put some powder in these places warmed everything up with some powder products to the creams 
um, making them really set for the rest of the day. I was going over how this part is very important for masks not to transfer. Sorry, my camera cut off. I don't know why I did that. It's a brand new camera. I should not be doing that. However, we're just gonna keep on going because we're this far now. Um, I'm gonna dust away all the powder and you'll notice in this motion, I'm dusting everything up. I'm not like dusting it everywhere. Um, everything has a motion. Okay, all the powder's gone. They don't sell this brush anymore. It's the Shade and Wet Brush by Kat Von D. So now we're going to do blush. I'm just going to use this Ulta Beauty blush brush. It's literally falling apart, <laughs> but it's lasted me like five years, so. I've been liking this blush. It's the matte one. It's called Like Me, Love Me by MAC. And I just put a little blush on there and start going up towards the hairline again. A little bit higher than I would normally put blush, but I feel like that really gives a good illusion of a slimming face. And like, who doesn't want a slim face, girl? If you ever feel your blush is a little too intense, just go ahead and dot it around with like a loose powder brush and that will really help it out. The next thing that I'm gonna do is go in with this Jaclyn Hill highlighting and um, it's like her highlighting pot in the shade Amped. It's a peach highlighter and I thought when I first bought it, it was the only thing that was left at Morphe and I was like, fine, I'll get it. And it ended up being my favorite highlighter that I've probably used in my whole life. Like this highlighter for my skin color, you guys, is so amazing. So I just go ahead and put it on the apples in my cheeks. I've been doing this circular motion lately. I used to take my brush and just go beep, 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 beep. And like when I turned to the sun, it was just like a brick of highlighter. And I was like, oh, God. That is not cute when you stop doing that. So I've just been doing circular motions and it's been a lot more natural, helped me a lot more. Also, if I'm talking weird, I'm so sorry. I have a throat infection and I'm pretty sure it's from the masks, but we won't talk about that. Before I set anything, I really want to revisit my eyes again. So I'm just gonna take a natural warm palette. This palette is the Full Exposure Smashbox. It is my oldest palette. Makeup does not expire in this house, um, even though it should, cause that's disgusting, but it costs me a lot of money, so. I can get rid of this girl. They still sell these though, so don't worry. You can go get it. I'm just gonna mix the browns together. Um, I don't want to have black eyeshadow on when I ha hardly have anything else on. Um, but I'm just going to smoke out the top of my lash line um, with this brown shade just to carve out some more dimension. I mean, you can tell between the two, it just looks like my lashes were lifted over there. And then taking those same colors, just kind of dotting them. And I'm gonna do something actually that I've never done before. I'm gonna put mascara on my lower lashes. If you guys are fans of this channel, all 141 of you, I love you guys, um, that are subscribed. Also, don't forget to subscribe to a girl. If you guys have been here, you know that I hate putting mascara on my lower lash line because it makes me look like I'm always crying. But I've seen a lot of people doing this lately and it gives them like baby doll eyes, you know, the whole Addison Rae thing. So I'm gonna try it out. That's definitely different for me. I never do this, but I kind of like it. It's a little cute. All right, so now I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and like wipe away anything that fell. Usually I don't have a lot of fallout with that technique. Now we're gonna do lips. I know people usually don't see lips, but I'm gonna do them anyways for the sake of this video. There is a lot of lipstick in this piece. I have been investing into eyeliners. Yes, I know. The plastic bag is ghetto, but what are we gonna do, child? What are we gonna do? I'm probably gonna take the shade Sandstorm, no. Okay, I'm gonna take this shade Nude Truffle. Now, I'm gonna be bougie today, you guys. I'm going to use my, my Christian Louboutin lipstick. Yes, I know, it's bougie, I know, but it's so cute and I never use it and it's from my mom and my dad for Christmas. Super cute, came with the engraving. Um, so I'm gonna use those two together. I know it's so extra, but we kind of love her. I'm gonna outline my lips with the color Nude Truffle and then come back and fill them in with the Louis Vuitton lipstick. Okay, my lips are outlined. This is something that I've actually been loving doing. Loving doing. This is something that I've been loving lately. Just adds a little extra 
into your lipstick, you know? Um, and now I'm gonna take, I don't even know what color this is. This is 215M. What does that say? Racketeer? R-O-C-O-C-O-T-T-E. Rocotoki. No, just kidding. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm so funny. Just kidding. I obviously blend everything all together. People have been loving gloss lately. I don't know if that's my jam. Sorry, this is very casual. Um, I'm actually going Christmas shopping after this, so yeah. That's why I'm like, hey guys, you know? I think I'm gonna take this Fenty Beauty gloss. It's the mini one, it's like the Christmas cheeky ones. Um, this is actually in the shade Cheeky, very cute. Even though no one will see your gloss through your mask. Okay, so now the makeup is done. Oh my god, I almost forgot setting spray. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Weightless Setting Spray. It is the best setting spray in the world. Okay, so now we're gonna do hair. Uh, I'm gonna use my Fancy Dancy Dyson. Yes, this one. You may ask, why did you spend $500 on a hair dryer? Mind your business. No, I'm just kidding. This was a present for my dad. Um, he clearly loves me a lot because this was expensive. I like this one for hair drying, but this one is kind of like for styling, for me. Just go ahead and attach that girl right on in there. So you just go ahead and lift this nozzle. This controls the heat, this controls the power. I've actually noticed if I go back like that, um, it creates more volume to the front. She gets a lot of volume like that. So cute. Okay, I'm just gonna put in some earrings. These are from Tilly's. Let's go put an outfit on and then we can close up this video. All right, you guys. Well, that's pretty much it for this video today. I hope you enjoyed just getting ready with me. I just decided to put on this cream neck with a denim jacket. I feel like a denim jacket is always a must have, honestly. But if you wanna see more videos like this, please let me know in the comments. Just say anything you wanna see from me. I love creating new things like I'll cook, I'll eat, but yeah. I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Zero to 100, we really we really did get ready today, we really did. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, if you came from TikTok today, I love you guys. And if you came from Instagram today, I love you guys as well. Um, I try to post regularly on my social medias. This is kind of like the first time I'm stepping back into this whole realm of YouTube again. Um, this definitely was a little bit more of a chill video Usually they're a little bit more professional, but like I'm tired of professional. I want you guys to feel like you're on FaceTime with me. So yeah, until next time you guys, peace.